option to remove the foreign forces out of the country? Uh, there will be a review this coming uh, uh, next month, and uh, it, it, I'm sure it will be discussed. Thank you. Sir, um, on another one, um, the U.S. State Department said that the remarks of the president are not contributing, you, the, the, the tirades of the president are not contributing to um, the good relationship between the two countries. Mm -hmm. the, um, do you agree with that, sir? Or what's your comment? Uh, in, terms, in terms of, uh, no, in terms of uh, I think we need to come back to the, to the point that the president is simply underlining certain things, underline, and which he has been doing. And um, at the right time, the things will, uh, uh, relationships will be, uh, even the economic situation will be, will also come under its own corrections and uh, it'll be worked out. Thank you, sir. Next question, Tia Renada of Rappler. Um, presidential spokesman, uh, is President aware that there are some MOUs or agreements that he or the government entered in with Chinese companies that may have had shady dealings in the past. For example, there are certain companies who w were apparently banned by the World Bank or blacklisted by the World Bank. Does this worry the palace? And what do we do about these MOUs, knowing that these shady deals existed in the past? Are we reconsidering these agreements? Those MOUs are simply understandings that they can uh, submit feasibility studies, which will still be subject to uh, subject to uh, public biddings and uh, the necessary processes. So these are not necessarily contracts or commitments to contract. Thank you. All right, next question. Rose Centenario of Hatao. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Yes, ma'am. Sir, ano po yung reaksyon ng Palacio sa tila paglarga ng damage control ni Senator Laila Dilima na nag-iikot po siya sa iba't ibang universidad, Catholic universities actually po, at yung parang estilo po niya ng pagsasalita ngayon eh parang ginagaya na po niya si yung namayapang senadora Miriam Defensor Santiago. Ano po yung masasabi ng palasyo rito? Well, uh, you know, uh, at this stage she is, uh, she can uh, make her own comments. And, but uh, at the end of the day, things will still have to be settled regarding her and, uh, uh, and her position. Yes. JP? Sir, follow up ulit on yung sa Chinese fishermen. Yes. Uh, um, yung sa fishermen, sir. Uh, sir, uh, Representative Harry Roque mentioned in an interview that there was some kind of, the Philippines and China reached a modus vivendi on the um, right of the fishermen to fish in disputed waters. Mm -hmm. Sir, may we know, meron na bang specifics agreed, pero hindi lang na put on paper during the China trip of the president? Uh, nothing has been official regarding that matter. No, there's no, nothing official regarding that matter. But, uh, so, but all we know is that based on results, the fishermen are now, can now go into uh, those waters. Okay. Sir, yes. follow up on that. Where did we get the information that the Coast Guard has left the Scarborough Shoal? Uh, apparently, there have been some physical observations that they're, they're not there. By the Coast Guard, Philippine Coast Guard, the military. Uh, um, can we quote? Uh, all, all I can say is at this stage, it has been observed that there are, there are no longer any <coughs> Chinese Coast Guards in the area. Sir, by the Philippine military, can we say that? Observed by the Philippine military? Sabi mo lang na it's been observed. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, next question from Hannah Jane Sancho. Good afternoon, Sir. Palace yes. reaction did cite uh, even survey na nagsasabing pito sa sampung Pilipino ang itinuturing po silang mahirap. Right. Um, this is one part of the surveys. Uh, on the other hand, also the NEDA PSA has, has already uh, noted that for the, the poverty rate has also dropped from 26 to 21 percent, especially during 2015. No? And that maybe it's also pertinent to mention here that uh, yung the, the Philippine vision, the Philippine developmental, uh, Philippine development plan um, sees that by 2014, uh, our, our dream, our intention, our aspiration is for the total elimination of poverty that's under the ambition 2040. Um, so uh, given, the, given that timeline between 20, let's say 20, between now and uh, and uh, 2040, 
our uh, our dream is for poverty to be totally eliminated. So, um, uh, you know, we, we will be able to see uh, the actual benefits uh, be being enjoyed by the others, by a greater number of people over a period of time and not perhaps immediately. Sir, other topic, regarding po dun sa 15 cabinet officials na na-bypass po sa yes. Any, ano pong next move po na pang ulo? Your appointment? Um, inabot kasi sila ng recess, eh, no? So, uh, they will be uh, re reappointed. Okay, thank you. Next question from Maricel Halili of TV5. Hi, sir. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Yes. Um, according to some U.S. Uh, officials, there's a possibility that President Duterte and the U.S. President Barack Obama uh, will have a chance to meet uh, during the APEC on November. Uh, kung sakali po na magkita nga silang dalawa, are there specific issues na posibleng ma-discuss or the President would like to discuss uh, following all the tirades and harsh words? <coughs> Uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you know, uh, these are not specific issues in the sense, no, in the sense of governmental, uh, uh, governmental issues. But uh, if you will, uh, if you will uh, notice where the president comes from, it's basically that he wants to be able to establish uh, mutual respect and dignity and acceptance and support. If you notice how how deeply he was. Uh, how deeply he was uh, uh, affected by, uh, when I say affected by, he was, uh, how deeply he was, he responded to, how, to, uh, for example, Japan, where uh, he says that uh, there was a sense of mutual support, encouragement, and uh, his terms are, for example, mutual interference, uh, non-interference. Non so uh, if there's anything at all I think that would matter during that conversation is that to be able to establish a sense of rapport, a sense of uh, mutual respect, and uh, not so much particular issues, you know, uh, specific issues, but that the reestablishment of, uh, a reestablishment of uh, warmth in relationship. I mean, this is based on what he has said so far. Okay. Sir, um, may we have your reaction or just in case po baka meron po kayong detalye with regards po dun sa pagkamatay uh, pag ambush kay Mayor Samsudin di maukom ng Datu Saudi Ampatuan together with nine other uh, bodyguards uh, meron daw po itong kinalaman dun sa campaign ng government with uh, anti-illegal drugs uh, we don't have the specifics yet but when we do get the specifics we'll get back to you thank you okay. sure um, a follow-up from Hannah Jean and then uh, Raymond from Bombo. Sir, phoning question po. Regarding po daw sa plano na uh, confirmation po ng, uh, ng Congress na ipapasa po yung uh, death penalty by Christmas po. Uh, Matutuli po ba ito, sir? Ipapap ipapasa po ngayon I before think that's Christmas. I that will be the initiative of Congress, no? Okay, thank you. All right, Raymond Tinaza of Bombo Radio. So, doon po sa decision ni Pangulong Duterte na hindi na siya magmumura, he will no longer bad, bad mouth uh, sa mga susunod na mga araw. May kinalaban ba ito sa mga previously mga negative reactions, international, parang siya sabi mga backlash, and even yung after yung kanyang meeting kay Prime Minister Sinso Abe? Uh, hindi, well, as far as he mentioned uh, during the arrival in... Uh, his arrival speech in the vow. Apparently, it was a, a personal insight, his own personal insight that uh, drove home to him that uh, uh, his th this decision, this particular decision, it was a particular insight that uh, came to him. He did not describe the process, although he did say that he he heard a voice that told him. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's it's a way of saying that. Uh, it's a way of saying that he had a personal, a deep personal insight into the matter. So going back to the question of Ms. Pia, yung the MOUs from allegedly uh, contractors with, which are apparently blacklisted from the World Bank. So how can we uh, parang i-connect doon sa sinabi mismo ng Pangulo na he will honor any agreement, any 
deal or contract na papasukin doon sa uh, China, sa mga investors. And we have to remember na yung MOU is already an understanding signed in their uh, presence. Hindi po yun, ano ha? But unang-una, the, regarding that particular company, apparently the ban is lifted by January of 2017, no? On the other hand, uh, those are not yet, uh, those, those are not hard contracts. Mm -hmm. Those are simply an invita in, 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 uh, invitation and invitation to, uh, what do you call it, an understanding that they can submit feasibility, feas feasibility studies, and these are also open to others, okay? So uh, th there are no hard and fast rules that say, yes, we have to, to, have to accept this particular company. Sir, uh, so far, uh, may mga lumabas na sina reports na there are about 19 billion US dollars total of financial package from Japan. As we speak, uh, accurate ba ito or may nadagdagan doon sa... Uh, 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 ulitin ko ha, ulitin ko yung sinabi ko nina. Yung talagang may signatures, mga 1.8 billion yon, mm -hmm. Approximately 1.8 billion. Yung 17.2 billion... <laughs> it's actually a, a verbal offer made by Marubeni. Mm -hmm. It's a verbal offer. So, hindi siya, ano, wala siyang signed. Pero andito na sila sa Philippines. They're already existing here. But it says that within the medium term, siguro mga within the next five years, they'll be, uh, they're interested in going into building uh, infrastructures, especially power, I think. Power. So, uh, yun yun. So, th that has to be very clear, okay? Pare yung tama yun. On the other hand, yun talagang 1.8. Meron na talagang ano yun, may, may usapan. So, as you siguro, sir, na during the actual bidding uh, doon sa mga projects, lalo yung mga uh, big ticket projects, which will be financed by these loans, grants from Japan, magiging fair at hindi naman makakalamang yung mga, alimbawa, yung mga negosyante na karaniwang sumasama sa business trip ng Pangulo, at uh, magiging fair even yung mga hindi ganun kalakihang mga uh, pamilya o mga angkan na mga negosyante? I'm sure everybody will be benefited, okay? I'm sure the, it's, it will be fairly, uh, ang tawag ito, it will be uh, conducted with fairness and regularity. Thank you, Thank you sir. Okay. okay. Next question from Johnson Manabat of BBMM. Secretary, good afternoon. Yes. Sir, meron ho bang possibility na magkita or ma-reschedule ang courtesy call ni Pangulo kay Emperor Akihito? Um, at this stage, there's no specific, ano, I, I'm sure, but I'm sure that it should give us a, what do you call it, it should give us an op uh, a window of opportunity to be able to, it, it should be able to give him a window of opportunity to be able to visit in the near future, in the future. Uh, sir, may we know the schedule of the president on November 1 or 2? I think uh, that's private time, as far as I know. Well, we, can, uh, we can check on that, but as far as I know right now, it's still private time. Thank you. Yes. All right, next question from Henry Uri of DZRH. Yes, sir. Secretary, magandang hapon. Uh, another topic lang ho sa traffic. Uh, traffic is getting worse every day. Mm -hmm. Ano ho ang particular uh, instruction ng Pangulo kay Secretary Tugade or sa MMDA para ho once and for all maayos po ang traffic ko sa Metro Manila? Uh, first and foremost, they should be under the, ano, ang, ang pinakamagaling pong kausabi natin will be our Tugade. And uh, we'll try to make a, you know, we'll try to make a, make sure that he we can also ask him to come and explain. Pe pero wala hong standing order ang pangulo sa uh, so far as I know the standing order is to be able to make sure that everything is uh, worked out, everything is properly worked out, uh -huh. so that the traffic will actually flow. Happy ba ang pangulo sa performance sa secretary Tugade, secretary? I'll leave that to the president whether he's happy or not. Thank you. Another question from Pia. Sir, uh, maybe just know what, uh, in, during the China trip, if, uh, if Bongbong Marcos uh, and people like Sandra Kam and Greco, Greco Bellica, who were in China and yes. in the events of the president, were they part of the official delegation and uh, what were their roles uh, in the trip? Why were they, were their trips funded by the government? Uh, the official delegation is, um, I'm not entirely sure, but, but the official delegation is really a very small delegation, okay? So, but... Uh, but they were part of the, I think, the bigger delegation, which uh, included uh, um, two, uh, three, four hundred uh, other business people. Okay. But sir, what what were their roles? They're not. I don't think they're business people, are they? Or no, and, and did they pay for their own 
expenses there? Um, that I cannot know, uh, but we can get back and we can give you the right answer regarding the matter. Yes. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Yes. Any more questions? Two more questions. Yes. Okay, Hannah. Sir, may feedback na po yung UN dun sa letter, sa, invita sa invitation natin. Um, so far, you know, so far, I think they were, they were, they said that they were waiting for it. They were waiting for it, but uh, I, I don't know, I do, we do not have a specific uh, response that they have already, they, have, they are in receipt of what their next action is. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Teresa Makas of Jimmy News Online. Sir, just to go back to the MOU sign during the China trip, um, China. Does, it, okay. yeah, does it include the CCC dredging? Uh, uh, we can find out about that. Uh, sir, because if, um, if it's included, um, we, we may just know if it's parang how will it affect our parang stand on the West Philippine Sea because um, the CCC dredging is known to have been involved in um, island building in the South China Sea and if got a and it got a deal now uh, to build, uh, to reclaim areas, uh, to reclaim lands in Davao City. So how do you think it will affect? Okay, first we'll have to find out if they have already, uh, regarding that matter, regarding that question. We will specifically get back to you on that. Thank you. Next question. One last question, please. Tuesday New of DZW. Microphone, please. Hi, sir. Yes. Apo. Sir, uh, may we know kung saan po kinukuha ni Presidente yung data niya on uh, campaign against illegal drugs? Kasi every now and then sinasabi po niya na may two policemen siyang namamatay every day sa campaign. But then the PNP is providing us with different data. Uh, at the latest, sir, ang record or data ng PNP since July 1 of his campaign up to now, ay seven lang po na mga police ang namatay doon sa anti-illegal drugs operations. Mm -hmm. And I think tatlo lang sa mga sundalo. And Papa several wounded, yes. Yes. Paano po natin ipagjajive yun? Parang nagkakaroon po ng confusion uh, doon sa data and as well as doon sa panig ng PNP, parang uh, uh, hindi nila tuloy alam kung paano nila i-release yung data dahil magkaiba doon sa sinasabi ni Presidente. Uh, tulad nga sabi ni General Bato the last time, um, the President also has access to other data. So we can also find out regarding that. We'll get back to you. Thank you. Okay. okay. So in the meantime, can we just, uh, uh, General, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Senator Caetano is on his way. Thank you very much. Give us a few minutes. All right, so uh, that concludes our press briefing with um, Secretary Ernesto Abella. Okay. We'll be back later for another press briefing with uh, Senator Alan Peter. Senator, yeah. yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much, members of the media. Back to the main studio, PTV4 and Radio ng Bayan. Um, at the right time, the things will... Oh, relationships will be, uh, even the economic situation will be, will also come under its own corrections and uh, it'll be worked out. Thank you, sir. Next question, Pierre Nada of Rappler. Um, presidential spokesman, uh, is president aware that there are some MOUs or agreements that he or the government entered in with Chinese companies that may have had shady dealings in the past, for example, there are certain companies who w were apparently banned by the World Bank or blacklisted by the World Bank. Does this worry the palace? And what do we do about these MOUs, knowing that these shady deals existed in the past? Are we reconsidering these agreements? Those MOUs are simply understandings that they can uh, submit feasibility studies, which will still be subject to, uh, subject to uh, public biddings and uh, the necessary processes. So these are not necessarily contracts or commitments to contract. Thank you. All right, next question. To remove the foreign forces out of the country? Uh, there will be a review this coming uh, uh, next month. And uh, it will, I'm sure it will be discussed. Thank you. Sir, um, on another one, um, the U.S. State Department said that the 
remarks of the president are not contributing, you, the, the, the tirades of the president are not contributing to um, the good relationship between the two countries. Mm. The, um, do you agree with that, sir? Or what's your comment? Uh, in terms, in terms of, uh, no, in terms of, uh, I think we need to come back to the to the point that the president is simply underlining certain things, underlining which he has been doing, and 